Welcome back, Cracked fans. We're here live with one of our winners today, advancing to the main draw, 11-9. She fought off a match point, Maria Mateus. Uh, Maria, congratulations Hello, to you. thank you. Uh, so let's start with that match that you qualify for the main draw. I believe that's the third main draw in a row you've qualified for to start the season, maybe second. I know you qualified last week in Midland as well. I qualified last week. The week before that, I played in Vero 25, and I got a wild card into Maine, so... I guess I was three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a win for you. But, uh, you know, two weeks in a row now, indoor tennis. Uh, how, how have you felt adjusting to these sort of conditions? I love indoor tennis, actually. I uh, I lived in Boston most of my life, so I, I kind of just played indoor all the time. So I was really excited, actually, coming off of the outdoor clay to indoor hard, for sure. Like, the first practice, I was so excited. <laughs> so I love it. I really do. Yeah, and I was just in Chicago watching your former team, the Duke Blue Devils, play yes. indoors. Do you think your season of college tennis did help you play? play prepare for indoors or is it as you mentioned you know you played indoors um, I don't him. think that it really had anything to do with like surface or anything but um we did play a lot of matches indoor and uh yeah and I preferred the indoor matches I think um compared to the outdoors so yeah so I'm just enjoying being indoors no conditions no wind no sun no nothing yeah, so no I can understand if I screw up it's just my fault <laughs> I'm not on anything but no, I'll yeah. take it, and, uh, you know, obviously today for you, it took you a set to get into that match, but, you know, what ultimately allowed you, I know you fought off, I think it was the 9-8 match point uh, in that break, or what allowed you to, you know, change, you play better in that second set, ultimately get over the finish line in the third? I think I picked it up a lot on my serve. Um, I really was, like, my percentage was so low in the first set, serving, and um, so I was able to be a little more even, because she served really well the whole match, and uh, try to move the ball around a little more with less mistakes. Um, which I didn't do in the first, but I'm glad I figured it out a little bit. <laughs> no, it was awesome to see. I believe your brother is here traveling with he you is, this yeah. week. Uh, what, what's the decision behind that? Is that something you guys planned on doing, or was it a little spontaneous? It was planned, um, and I was really excited. He's he's only been with me to a couple tournaments, and I've actually done really well in all of them, and we have fun. It's really relaxed, so I was really excited for him to come. I was in... Um, Midland with my dad, who usually travels with me, um, and we flew home, and then we drove here the next day with my brother, so I was excited for a little change-up. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure serving hitting partner as well as coach yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. Pretty good hitting partner. Can you take him at this point? My brother? Yeah. Absolutely not. Definitely <laughs> great hitting partner. Yeah. Can't win a game, so yeah. No, he's, I mean, a fellow Duke player as well, yeah. and for you, I know, again, you've been out, you spent your year at Duke last year, now you've been a full year about on the pro tour. How has the first, yeah, six, seven, eight months on yeah. the tour been for you? It's been great. I, uh, I love it. Um, it's, it's what I've always liked to do, really, so I'm excited to be back. I can yeah. imagine. You've had some success so far I know already I believe inside the top 500 uh, for you I know it's very early in the season but are there goals in particular you'd like to accomplish in 2020 or is it really take it you know match by match tournament yeah, by just, tournament I'm, I'm trying to take it match by match not trying to put too much pressure on myself and see how far I can go yeah. And I mean, there's a whole crew of former college tennis players here this weekend. Does it feel like there's a nice college tennis fraternity or sorority, I suppose, it's at great. these events? Yeah, and we're all, we're all close, and we all get along and joke around and even train together sometimes um, in Orlando. So it's really fun to, uh, to be around all of them. No, who needs a brother for a hitting partner when you've got this great set <laughs> yeah, of oh, hitting crew? All right, last two questions for, for you, sure. both a little bit goofy. Okay. Uh, it's Valentine's Day week, uh, so I'm going to try and ask this to all the players we interviewed. Okay. Your ideal Valentine's Day. They don't give me that. I was afraid by that face. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's Ideal not that Valentine's weird. Day. I think, like, first you need a significant other, but, like, sure. I don't know. But ideal for me right now would be, A, either being in the tournament still, <laughs> B, just, like, stuffing my face maybe. I don't know. It'd be great. Just, just laying in bed if I'm not in the tournament. <laughs> Well, no, it sounds like a win to me, and I think yeah. the significant other, is, yeah, as long as you've got tennis, right? That's really all that matters. All right, last thing to do, you got, our fans can see pickle juice in the corner. I want to do this with all of our players we have. Uh, have you ever tried pickle juice? I have, I bet, like, out of the pickle more. All right, you want to take a little pickle juice swig with me? Like, I think it's kind of mandatory. Yeah, here it's point. mandatory. That's true. It says oh. shot, but I will not. Yeah, no, it doesn't have to be a shot. I'm not finishing the whole thing. I think I'm going to have to do this, like, 12 times this weekend. Organic. Really enjoy pickle juice. I mean, it's good for you, right? Uh, no cramps. I mean, I don't have to play this week, though. Drink this, be awesome. Yeah, there you go. Drink this, stay in bed all of Valentine's there Day. Mmm. That's delicious. Oh, I kind of like it, actually. All right, there we go. I might have it all. 
No, please, by all means. No, no, you got to give it back after. No, uh, I'm just kidding. Seriously. All right, well, to you, congratulations again. We look forward to seeing you in the main draw. Ladies and gentlemen, Maria Mateus. Thanks.